Lent is a journey of our returning to God. Pope Francis says, it is a journey that involves our whole life, our entire being. Lent is not just about the little sacrifices we make, but about discerning where our hearts are directed. Is my heart directed towards God or towards myself? By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice. Then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs not their faces to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me or paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord its God. Or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. Responsorial Psalm If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for He is our God, and we are the people He shepherds, the flock He guides. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear His voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Maza in the desert, where your father is tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. And when the demon has gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house and if satan is divided against himself how will his kingdom stand for you say that it is by beelzebul that i drive out demons if i then drive out demons by beelzebul by whom do your own people drive them out therefore they will be your judges but if it is by the finger of god that I drive out demons, 
then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. What is the best protection which brings lasting security to our lives? Scripture tells us that true peace and security come to those who trust in God and obey His word. Obey my voice and walk in all the way that I command you, by human strength and will power alone. Our enemy, the devil, conspires with the world, whatever is opposed to God and His truth and righteousness. And our flesh, whatever inclines us to yield to hurtful desires and wrongdoing, to draw us away from the peace, joy, and security which God provides for those who put their trust in Him. Peter the Apostle tells us, Our adversary, the devil, prowls the earth, seeking to ruin of souls. The devil is opposed to God, and he seeks to draw us away from God's plan and will for our lives. God offers us grace, his merciful help and strength, and protection from Satan's lie and deception if we are willing to obey his word and resist the devil's lies and temptations. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High, your habitation, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will give his angel charge of you to guard you in all your ways. The Lord offers us the peace and security of his kingdom, which lasts forever and which no other power can overcome. Jesus makes it clear that there are, there are no neutral parties. We are either for Jesus or against him, for the kingdom of God or against it. There are two kingdoms in opposition to one another, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness under the rule of Satan. If we disobey God's word, we open the door to the power of sin and Satan in our lives. If you want to live in freedom from sin and Satan, then your house, your life and possessions, all that you rely upon for livelihood, peace and security, must be occupied by Jesus where he is enthroned as Lord and Savior. Is the Lord Jesus the master of your home, heart, mind and will? Let us pray. O Lord our God, grant us, we beseech you, patience in troubles, humility in comforts, constancy in temptations, and victory over all our spiritual foes. Grant us sorrow for our sins, thankfulness for your benefits, fear of your judgment, love of your mercies, and mindfulness of your presence, now and forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.